What's up guys, my name is Suman and you are watching Purple Pie Studios. So this is the lesson 1 of the Corporate Explainer Animation course and in this lesson, I will explain to you how to come up with the idea for your animation project in total 5 stages. But before moving forward, do hit the like button and comment down below with your favorite websites and platforms for finding inspiration for your animation projects. So now let's move on to stage 1, Ideation. In this stage, you have to come up with the topic on which you want to create the animation. So when you are planning to start working on a personal project, it's very natural that you don't have a clear idea and you just jump from topic to topic. But this thing doesn't happen generally when you are uh, working on a commercial project because you are already provided with some specific requirement. So it is very important for you when you are uh, planning to work on a personal project first finalize a topic and then proceed further. In my case, I had a very clear idea. I wanted to create something around the corporate lifestyle, maybe something like a successful completion of a project with the final delivery. Now let's move on to stage two, visualization. Once you have an idea to work on, just close your eyes and try to think of some animated sequence around that topic and you will immediately notice some images and some screenplays forming inside your head. And it's completely fine if you cannot think of an entire screenplay on the first go. And either way, this scenes or the animated sequence may not be in the, uh, in the final animation. So it's just that if you just try to visualize the elements or if you try to visualize something around that topic, you can further break down the topic into elements and uh, you can also think of how can uh, the overall scene setup be in the final animation. Now once you have some idea about the project, move on to stage 3 where we will create a word tree. In this stage, you have to note down the words that come to your mind around the topic and then you have to break down the words into individual elements as much as you can. So these words will help you in coming up with more visual ideas. Now let's move on to stage 4, research. In this stage, pick those words from the word tree and search for videos, images, uh, illustrations and animation clips to get inspiration from other artist works that are already available online. So for inspiration, I generally head on to Pinterest, Behance and Dribbble. And then I create a research document or a mood board. So for that I use Google Docs which is absolutely free. So I take a screenshot and save it inside a document with the links so that I can easily redirect to the artist profile if I need to later on. And I make this research document as detailed as possible so that I don't have to get back to the research stage again and look for new ideas. So after going through all the design and animation references, your mind will now flood with ideas. So now you have to move on to the stage 5, rough sketch. In this stage, you have to do some rough sketch to put all the ideas that you have inside your head into a visual format. So it doesn't have to be well drawn, uh, it can be stick figures with some shapes. But in this stage, you have to plan out the entire animation, including the transitions, like how the transitions are going to happen from each and every frame and you have to plan each and everything in details in this stage. Okay, now that you know what exactly you are going to animate, the next step is the designing process and that is what we will cover in the next lesson. So in lesson 2, we will learn how to design animation friendly characters so that you can later on rig and animate it in After Effects. So that's the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.